so I think I think what we've learned is that by having a good, well structured, efficient, and effective training program, you get you get the more junior colleagues closer to being trained than by having an old fashioned sort of apprentice style thing where the junior people just get shunted to the to the sides. That's the first thing. Well, my, my view is that anybody that's been properly trained and is verifiably competent to perform endoscopy should be doing it and it shouldn't be referenced to your to your specialty or background. It's as simple as that. The two week wait referral service in terms of the diagnostic yield of cancers for lower GI has been a failure. Um, any figures that you read from any form of research show you that the yield of cancer from colonoscopy in that pathway has really been around 5%. Thank <laughs> you.